Alright, people who got cancelled who didn't deserve it. First up, we have James Gunn. Dude got fired from Guardians 3 by Disney over some tweets he made like a decade ago. And to be fair, the jokes were pretty f***ing wrong. Then, several years after they fired him, Disney hires him back. Oh, just kidding, James. I guess those tweets are fine now. So then he finally gets to make Guardians 3, which is probably gonna be the only MCU movie that performs well at the box office this year. Number five, Sinead O'Connor. So she went on SNL and tore up a photo of the Pope in protest of the Catholic Church sexual abuse scandal. Fight the real enemy. And the Catholic Church sexual abuse thing wasn't very public yet. So people got mad and they like canceled her. And unfortunately, because of that, her career took an immediate nosedive. But listen to this, the week after she hosted SNL, Joe Pesci hosted SNL the next week. And in his monologue, because he's very Catholic, he pasted a picture of the Pope back together and he threatened to smack her if she ever did it again. She was very lucky it wasn't my show because if it was my show I would have gave her such a smack. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Of course, now we know Sinead was completely right about the Catholic Church. Number four, Monica Lewinsky. She was basically a private citizen who had an affair with her boss. I mean, yeah, I'm oversimplifying it, but she didn't deserve to have her life destroyed. Not, not for decades after that, come on. I mean, affairs have consequences, sure, but like, not that. I mean, she went through hell. Number three, Pee Wee Herman. I mean, this one was stupid as hell. Pee Wee Herman got arrested for jacking it in an adult movie theater. A theater that explicitly shows corn. I mean, to my understanding, that is the entire purpose of those theaters. It's not like he walked into a showing of Oppenheimer and just started yanking it in front of everyone. I mean, it was a corn theater. And the dude stopped getting steady work after that. Toys R Us took all the Pee Wee Herman toys out of the store as a response. Like, the whole thing was a mess. Number two, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson had a wardrobe malfunction at the Super Bowl on live TV, which was totally planned by the the way. The whole like, it was a wardrobe malfunction thing, that was absolute bullshit. It was 100% planned. But Janet Jackson's titty out at the Super Bowl had every Midwestern grandma clutching her pearls. Her music and music videos were blacklisted by Viacom, who owns MTV. So no more music videos for Janet Jackson. She got uninvited to the Grammys where she was supposed to perform. And like her career just never recovered after that. Meanwhile, Timberlake gets away with like zero punishment. And coming in at number one, the Dixie Chicks. They got canceled because they criticized President George W. Bush over the war in Iraq in 2000. The same Iraq war that everyone would come to criticize just a few years later. They were blacklisted by radio stations, people burned their CDs in protest, and they supposedly got a lot of death threats over it. So basically, they got canceled by a bunch of hillbillies because they had a correct opinion a few years too early. 